Today is September 1st, Monday. How can it be September already? August just flew by. And today is a very special day. It's the beginning of a season called the Season of Creation. Today is also the World Day of Prayer for the Care of the Earth. The Season of Creation runs from September 1st until October 4th, the Feast of St. Francis of Assisi. And it is an international, interdenominational time of prayer where we reflect on our vocation as stewards of the earth. We reflect on what we have done to care for this great creation and thank God for it. And we reflect on how we are going to change to care for it better, to care for it more properly, more lovingly. Pope Francis wrote an encyclical five years ago, and it's also an anniversary of that, Laudato Si, on care for our common home. Care for our common home. We have heard about this. We have seen it. We know about it. And we have to do something about it. So this is a great time, this five period, this five week period of prayer, of reflection, of action. A great saint once said, if you want to know the creator, look at creation. And on Sunday, I had a wonderful opportunity to look at creation. We went down to Haynes Point just to see the water, which is a little part of Washington, D.C. that is below some of the bridges between, there's a Linlet on one side and the Potomac is on the other. It's right across from National Airport. And we drove around and actually we parked about six times just to look, just to watch. We could see people enjoying that beautiful sunny day, warm, warmish temperatures, people sitting under the trees, children laughing, running around. Lots of people were wearing masks, even though we were outside. We watched a group of men who were fishing. They had great attention to their fishing tackle. We were watching them, particularly as they closed up for the day. And they looked as if they had caught something. And I began to wonder, were they able to eat what they caught? Because I know at another spot on the Anacostia River, there's a big sign, do not eat the fish that you catch here. So I looked it up and it says on the DC website, you may eat some of those fish, but in limited numbers, and but in particularly, do not eat some particular fish. Care for our creation. What are we doing? How do we make it so that we can eat any fish that people catch? That we can enjoy the air, we can enjoy the sun, we can enjoy the trees. Care for our common home. This time of creation, this season of creation, this international, interdenominational time of prayer and reflection is calling us to a profound internal conversion toward the earth. Google this, look it up, seasons of change. Let it touch your heart, pray over it. Think how can we change so that we can preserve this wonderful creation God has given us. I'll be reminding you of it in the next five weeks. So let us pray. O oh God, our creator and our redeemer and our sanctifier, help us to be aware of the seasons. Help us to be aware of our creation. Help us to glory in it, to thank you for it, to rejoice in it, and also to care for it better to make better decisions in our lives, better decisions for our country, and better decisions around the world. Amen.